Ford. Uh, Tim's a former ABC journalist, now freelance journal journalist and an advocate and supporter for this quite important campaign. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Rodney. I too would like to um, acknowledge Elders past and present um, and acknowledge that I stand on Aboriginal land. It's, it's an honour for a white fella, for a racha, to be standing here addressing the Palawa people and their supporters. Thank you. On this momentous day, not just around Australia, but around the globe, people are standing up and uniting for Aboriginal Australia. Let me acknowledge that I can't speak on behalf of Aboriginal Tasmania. I can't speak for my Palawa brothers and sisters. I can listen to you and I can learn when I listen. And if I learn, I can understand. And if I understand, I'll know that we have never in 227 years met as two equal cultures. We've never met with respect, with equality and with sovereignty of each culture. How do we know this? We know it because we don't acknowledge the stolen lands. We don't acknowledge the killings, the frontier wars, the cultural genocide through forced assimilation. And we know it's still going on now because they're still doing it. In Western Australia, the reason that people are gathering now is because land is going to be taken away yet again for another generation of Aboriginal Australians. So it's good that people are gathering all around Australia and that mob are gathering from Fitzroy Crossing to Brisbane, from Hobart to Cairns, but beyond to our Maori brothers and sisters in New Zealand. Ki Kia ora, New Zealand. People are gathering in Europe, in England, in America today. They, they don't want to, they want you to know that you're not alone. And you're not alone. You know that the word is spreading. And there's so many white fellas that don't understand, so many that won't listen. They've made their decisions, as they have done for the last 200 years. Dispossession is at the heart of all these decisions. And it goes on, and it's still going on today. Will Colin Barnett listen in Western Australia? Will, will Tony Abbott listen in Canberra? They haven't listened yet, and they don't understand. The cynical amongst us might say that, you know, uh, they don't want to listen, and they've already planned this for some quite some time. It's, it's, it's not about the money. We know that it's not about the money because they could help these communities to stand on their own two feet, to become self-sufficient, to, to offer all the things for the people in their communities that they need. So we know it's not about the money. We know that there's a lot of money in Western Australia. So what is it about? We need a... We need answers and we need the people who attend the chamber behind us to also ask those questions. We need our Premier to speak to the Premier of Western Australia and demand to know why, why they're choosing this course of action. And also to let him know that our Indigenous, indigenous community in Tasmania stands united with that community in Western Australia. Indigenous communities are listening. The United Nations is listening. It's time for, t you know, the time for taking land is over and that's what Colin Barnett needs to know. The time has begun for returning land. So as a white fellow, I want the communities to know that they're not alone. The threat for communities is, is a threat to all of us. Um, I know in Tasmania, in, in Lutruwita, we have our own battles to protect ac the access and, and the nurturing of the land here. And that's an ongoing one. And this doesn't distract from that. This highlights it. And that's why I think Aboriginal people all over Australia are united on this. Because if the government can remove people living on a community, imagine what some of them think they can do with the land when there's no one there to object. It's my problem as a white fella, and as a man, I've benefited from my privilege in this society. I don't want that privilege at the expense of others. 
and critically, I don't want it at the expense of Aboriginal Australia, at the expense of Aboriginal culture, community, connection and Aboriginal sovereignty. You've done so well in Tasmania to maintain your, your culture, your connection and your pride. And now the world is listening to you. And now Australia will have to listen to you. I stand for an immediate and respectful negotiation between our communities for a treaty. A treaty that lead, will lead to sovereignty for Aboriginal people. I, I, call on, I call on the members of the Tasmanian Chamber and specifically Will Hodgman to advance that cause. And as I said, to let Colin Barnett know and Tony Abbott know that he does not support the forced closure and removal of Aboriginal people from their communities. I call, I call on Will Hodgman as the leader of our state to lead by example and respectfully begin negotiation with the Palawa people for a treaty here, a treaty that will lead to self-determination for Palawa people. And for those smart people in our community who think that Aboriginal people uh, think that if Aboriginal people want self-determination, they should not expect support from the, the white community and from the broader community. I'll say this, when white fellas give back the wealth, the country, the culture, and the people that they've taken and stolen, then, and only then, can you claim that there's no need to give any further. In the meantime, give Aboriginal Australia the respect, the time, the land and the support to become a self-determined people and a culture once again, to become the heart and soul of our Australian identity. And it always was and it always will be Aboriginal land. Thank you, Tim.